Hundreds of media outlets have been reporting on the backlash that Pastor Joel Austin has taken for not opening the doors of his megachurch to Hurricane Harvey evacuees. TMZ reports Pastor Joel Austin has taken serious heat for not turning his Houston megachurch into a shelter for thousands of displaced residents who have no place to go. The Houston Lakewood Church has a capacity of almost 17,000 but it has not been open to evacuees since the storm hit. A frustrated gentleman actually went to Lakewood Church and shot this video showing that the church was dry enough to open its doors to evacuees. Okay guys, Sean Salisbury here, and I'm just giving you an idea of some of the freeways and what's going on right out in front of here on these stairs, which are an easy and elevated building. And as I turn around, I show you the Joel Osteen Church here. Does this look flooded? This is a man who makes millions uh, of tax-free dollars every single week, and every or every single year, should I say. And uh, every single week, this building's filled. About 16,000 people can get in this building, a former basketball arena that used to house the Rockets. So I just wanted to see for myself, and if the basement's flooded, fine. But you can waltz people in these doors. Look how dry it is here. So I look on the ground to let people in. You tell me a uh, six month old infant or a family that has no home. People are fighting for their lives, trying to get in here. As we're elevated from stairs, trying to get in to places and shelters. For a man who makes tax-free dollars and millions of it, can't open his buildings to those in need. Our guy Mattress Mac here in Houston has opened his business where he sells products and beds and furniture and allowed people to come in there and stay. Come on now, we can be better. I'm a God-fearing man, but do those look like they're flooded, and yes, people can get here. People can get here and surrounding this area, there's been devastation enough. This is not flooded, folks. This is called, I don't wanna be inconvenienced. Reportedly, Houston evacuees have been overcrowded in other facilities that only hold about 5,000, for example, but are currently housing over 8,000 people. So people are clearly in need of shelter and not just the donations that his church, Lakewood Church, had been promising. Lakewood Church tweeted, Our hearts break as we see the damage and destruction in our city. Please join us in helping Houston recover. Visit lakewoodchurch.com relief. So the church did set itself up as a donation center, but many people on social media criticized the church for not taking people in, not just donations. But the church disputed the backlash. They said, quote, we have never closed our doors. We will continue to be a distribution center for those in need. Lakewood Church tweeted yesterday, beginning at 12 noon tomorrow, we are collecting infant and adult diapers, baby formula and baby food. Coordinating with the city, Lakewood is a collection site for distributing supplies to the Houston area shelters. And a rep for the church stated, we are prepared to shelter people once the cities and county shelters reach capacity. Lakewood will, will be a value to the community in the aftermath of this storm and helping our fellow citizens rebuild their lives. And like I mentioned, a lot of the facilities had already reached their capacity and were still accepting people. Lakewood Church posted on social media Monday that the venue was inaccessible due to severe flooding following Hurricane Harvey and included these pictures of flooding within the building. But as of today, Joel Austin has opened the doors of Lakewood Church to people needing housing during this time. Someone caught this picture of the air mattresses inside the church and said Lakewood Church apparently bought countless air mattresses and are prepping to open their doors. Took a while, but good news. And the church said in a tweet, Lakewood is receiving people who need shelter. We are also coordinating with the city as a collection site for distribution. That's great news that the Lakewood Church building, which was once home to the Houston Rockets, is now available to the people of Houston, especially considering its 17,000 person capacity. You guys know that I'm a Christian, but that doesn't mean that I agree with the actions of every Christian leader, especially since I was taught that you're supposed to be there for people in their moment of need especially when you have resources that could help them. So I'm sad to see a huge church like Lakewood wait until after the storm and to open their doors to evacuees. In my mind, I was wondering why wait when so many people need you now? 
And I personally feel that the reason they took so long to open has more to do with the disconnect between rich people and ordinary regular working class people. To me, Joel Alstein and your current president are not that different. Just like Trump wished the people of Houston good luck with the storm as if it was a game, Joe Alstein pretty much wished the people of Houston good luck during the storm and said he'll be there after the storm is over, but not a moment before. And that decision to wait until after the worst of the storm was over, to me, reflects Joe Alstein's disconnect from regular people who don't have the option he has during a natural disaster. In my opinion, he's just as out of touch with people as Trump is.